Things That Go Bump in the Night, Chapter 2. Arms stitched and bandaged, Jalen leaned against the examining table, passing time scanning the room. He was surrounded by counters and cabinets containing jars of tongue depressors, cotton balls, swabs, and band-aids. A hint of ammonia floated around the room, which made Jalen wonder how Stacy could sleep like a baby. She sat near the door, head tilted, drool on her lap, and a good housekeeping magazine on her lap. Jalen sighed and shook his head. Waiting was the process of all hospitals he hated most. You sign in, are treated, but you still wait for the doctor. Finally, the doctor returned, holding a prescription. Here you go. This should take care of the pain. And be sure to follow the instructions, said the doctor. Stacy awoke, stretching and yawning. She wiped the drool with her sleeve. She got up and stood next to Jalen, looking at his prescription. The doctor, bald, with a touch of gray mixed in with what hair he had left, waited with them. Any questions? he asked. Jalen looked at the small, nerdy man. Jalen thought the doctor was probably not a hit in high school, but now a success at class reunions. Typical eyeglasses, khakis, brown loafers, and a white coat wearing doctor. How long before I get these bandages off? At least two to three weeks. Jalen nodded. I lucked out, huh, Doc? You're lucky to be alive. What do you mean? Stacy asked. Guess it's too late to ask if you folks aren't from around here. He looked at Jalen's chart. Uh huh? Stacy gave the doctor a dubious look. What? You're from Crest City, he said, raising an eyebrow. Jalen and Stacy looked at each other, wondering what the doctor's point was. That's our home. Is there a problem? Jalen asked. Hill County and your city have a lot in common. Jalen shook his head. Meaning what? When you asked if you lucked out, you were right. You are not the first animal attack to come in here, just the first not to be DOA. Stacy gasped. My god. The doctor nodded. Dental records come in handy. Get a lot of John and Jane Doe. All attacks around midnight. Been going on over a month now. Sheriff's thinking about calling the FBI. Where's Mulder and Scully when you need them? Over a month? Stacy asked. I know we're a small country town, but don't you all read the papers? Sports and comics, said Jalen. You don't have some kind of mandatory curfew? Stacy asked. The doctor shrugged. You know people. Can't happen to me until it does. Stacy had heard about the murders in Hill County. Her station manager thought it was minor news from a one traffic light country town. She ignored the danger because a co-worker said it was a great escape from the city, and Stacy felt she and Jalen needed to get away for some relaxation. Don't get me wrong, this town is great for camping and fishing, said the doctor. We came out here to relax, said Stacy. Yeah, but had we known, said Jalen, you folks should be used to this kind of thing by now. What do you mean? Jalen asked. You got that crazy calling himself the sin killer slicing and dicing folks up in your fine city. He gave a stern look. Yeah, that's right. I read more than the sports and the funnies. All right, Doc. Give it a rest, will ya? Stacy squeezed Jalen's shoulder. Somebody's gonna have some nice camping equipment. The doctor smiled. You can still get your stuff. But you said... Attacks have only been at night. Soon as day breaks, you should have no problem. But there's always a first time. The ride home was peaceful and quiet. Stacy glanced at Jalen, resting his eyes. Sorry, said Stacy. What? I feel responsible for your arm. Okay. Give me a minute to figure out why I should blame you. I knew about the animal attacks in Hill County. Say what? You put us in danger for a vacation? How was I supposed to know you'd get hurt? You heard the doctor. I was the only survivor. Was it a wolf? It was big and ferocious, and I don't ever want to see it again. Stacy rubbed his thigh. I am so sorry. The eyes. What about them? Red, glowing eyes like they were on fire. Penetrated my soul. 
Thank God you got away. Good thing I had my knife. Jalen removed it from his pocket, looked it over, and shook his head. Had it since high school. Now look at it. Nothing lasts forever. At least we got our camping gear back. Hope you know somebody who wants to buy it, because I'm never going camping again. <laughs>